Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Dalal Street Week Ahead program sponsored by Delta.Exchange. Last week, once again, the markets consolidated. In fact, for the last three months, markets are in consolidation mode. On Friday, Nifty closed at 22,097. And coincidentally, on January 15, also the Nifty closed exactly at 22,097. So not even one point plus or minus in the last two months. HDFC bank results, IAFL finance ban on gold lending, JM financial ban on lending against the shares, SEBI directive on mid cap and small cap funds, and stress test on mid cap and small cap funds, SEBI comment about potential manipulation in SME stocks, TCS take sale by Tata Sons, weakness in IT stocks due to Accenture guideline. So you know what not there were so many bad news in the last two months specific to indian market except the accenture accenture is a global one so other than that whatever i mentioned everything is related to uh, specific to indian markets during the 2024 us markets is up more than 10 percent japan market is up more than 20 percent but India is just almost flat. So the reason why there is a 10% underperformance, you know, is because of these so many local news. Technically speaking, the huge bull run will be always followed by a long consolidation. And 2023, November and December, two months, there was a huge bull run. Nifty shot up nearly 15%. So, the following period, nearly three months, there is a huge consolidation. And also, technically speaking, a long consolidation will always be followed by a big rally or a big fall. Now, the question is, you know, after these three months of consolidation, so going forward, there is going to be a big rally or a big fall. I think that will depend upon the election results. So anyway, so these are all like, you know, long term views. Uh, let us come back to the short term. And now looking at the global queues and looking at the non-stop movement of funds from retail people to mutual funds. And you see everyday FAs are selling 2000, 3000 crores and domestic institutions are buying more than that on almost day to day basis. So mutual funds seems to be having a lot of money. So as long as this huge amount of money is flowing non-stop into the stock market, you know, there is no reason to be bearish. Number one, global queues are good. And you know, local queues are bad here and there, you know. So th those things are being factored in and that's why we have already done 10% underperformance. So there is no reason to be ultra bearish. But a normal market move is like, you know, 500, 600 points here and there, you know, the Nifty can make a move. Now, yesterday, I came out with a video by saying that, you know, Nifty is likely to test 24,000 by the end of this year. So, therefore, you know, even if the short term, if there are any negative things, you know, some normal corrections happen, but longer period, medium term to longer term, our markets are looking very very bullish so coming back to this week so we have only three more trading sessions for this expiry monday is a trading holiday uh, due to holy and friday is a trading holiday because of good friday so we have only three trading sessions and therefore you know there are no market moving events also like there was no important data like inflation data or you know fed meeting rb meeting and this and that so there is nothing so uh, at best markets may continue to consolidate between 22000 and 22500 and you know uh, on friday though dow closed in red but nasdaq closed in green and the analysts in us they are saying that you know despite such a big bull run the technology stocks, they still have a lot of steam left. So, therefore, you know, whether it's a short term or medium term or long term, the markets tend to be uh, bullish only. So, 
there are many surprises this time uh, with the election fever catching up. India VIX is trading below 13. That's really very, very surprising. The last two elections, ahead of the elections, the VIX shot up more than 30. Uh, I remember, you know, 2013, even it went up to 38 one day. So, uh, in fact, this time, the fight seems to be, uh, you know, how, how to put it? The fight seems to be bigger this time compared to 2014 and 2019. But still, you know, market participants, you know, they are not worried. So, sometime, you know, uh, if everybody is complacent, that is when the disaster will strike. So, I do not know. So, what is more interesting, uh, you know, coming week, you know, especially those who attended my workshop, uh, most of my workshop attendees, they trade in long term options, uh, typically expiring in December, you know. So, any option, you know, which is expiring more than 9 months, so there is additional 5% exposure margin. So, now, once these three trading sessions are over, so the following week will become April series. So once the April series starts, the December series will be less than 9 months. So the margin, that extra 5% margin money will not be applicable. So only the normal margin money will apply. So those who want to take positions uh, for the December uh, with a view, you can uh, take now. So uh, I am also planning to come out with one uh, small course, you know, uh, just we'll be discussing one strategy with adjustments for a uh, nominal amount and uh, that strategy will be focused on the view of the market uh, by the end of December. Right. So, you know, uh, the banks may continue to recover because the banks have been oversold for the last few trading sessions and mid caps and small caps are started recovering already. So, let us see where the market goes, but 22,000 on the downside and 22,500 on the upside is the range and this is the box in which the Nifty has been trading for the last three months. One or two times it went above this, one or two times or three or four times it went below this, but uniformly it has come back to this range. So, this range likely to continue. So, as I told you, uh, neither bulls or nor bears will be winning in the March series. So, March series, you know, it's a, it's a series for option writers. So, those who have sold it at a decent uh, distance, so the time value, the prices keep depreciating. So, anyway, so tomorrow is a holiday. So, you know, we cannot react to the global queues. Only on Tuesday morning, we will be reacting to the global queues. On Tuesday morning, I will be able to give a better picture. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.